Mario has the question exclamation mark there and his tag. It's a um, pays homage to Zenyu, who has the exclamation point and the question mark tag. Who actually comes from Boss from MDVA back in uh, back in the Brawl days. Boss was one of the best Mario's out there. Yeah. So a little bit of history about that tag. Alrighty, homage to an homage. Yeah. They say imitation is the uh, best form of flattery. Yep. All right, here we go. Another Palutena. We're going to see how this goes down. Can be potentially a difficult matchup for Mario to get in, especially with that back air. If you can wall them out correctly, then it's difficult for Mario to get in. But it doesn't look like that's quite the issue so far. Picking them back up with the up tilt, I like that idea. And continuing the combo, 89%. Yeah, Mass Mario definitely has a lot to make up. I mean, getting fourth place, like I said, you can't be upset losing a second here, but he's really just trying to put all the stops in between. He's got a. He's definitely playing out here for sure. Yep, gets that back air, puts him back off stage one more time. Doesn't scoop him up, but gets that up smash, yes. That was one of those things where you try to punish up smash, but you were in shield stun. Come on, man. That was, that yeah. was in Smash 4, too. You gotta be careful about that. And that's one of those things that you can do with Palatina, right? Dash Tag still has that little bit of a super armor going on. Um, I don't. I can't. Remember, I think it's either intangible or super armor. I apologize for the uh, term references. It's uh, it's in, invulnerability. Invulnerability. There yeah, you yeah. go. So you're able to punish M Mario for going for up smash at the ledge for that. But that situation, like I said, shields and played a huge factor here. So Bedini kind of have to hold his cards back a little bit and see when he should be going for things like backer and dash back to stop Master Mario from going for up smash. Ooh, and another up smash actually takes out the next stock. I blinked, man, and he was at 137. I thought he still had the stock <laughs> to work with, man, but all of a sudden, Master Mario, he's not playing around. He's upset about that MSM loss. He wants to take this hat. Yeah, dude, I'm telling you, he's, he's out here for some blood. He's got a vendetta here to make for himself. And definitely one thing that we do see from Master Mario is, and especially from Mario in general, is his anti-air is right. Up smash is still a great anti-air. And one thing that Palu loves to do is go for those neutral airs, go for the go for the forward air, go for the back air. So if you're able to catch Palutena on the slip up there, especially going for out of shield options, with your up smash, you can get her. Oh, the falling up air into the fair, looking like a Captain Falcon from Smash 4. Thank God I can't hear you. Obliterating <laughs> him. <laughs> And I'm going to ignore that fucking hate <laughs> because he was one of my favorite characters and I can't play him the way I want to Yo, man, right man. now because of how he plays in this stupid game. But anyways, here we go. Shout out to former PR number seven, a Sedgehog from San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that? Sounds like some scrub. Anyways, uh, looks like we went to Kalos. Our, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, what I, is that? Uh, Mastermind has been talking about his... Uh, Fox a little bit on Twitter. He's been talking about how he has some couple of the characters in the back when it comes to certain matchups here. So I definitely don't put it past him to go for Fox. He's also uh, a little bit of a hidden Sonic main. Uh, he loves Sonic as well in terms of the character and the game. Mm -hmm. right, let's see how it does though. Yeah. So I can understand a way maybe per particularly practicing in this matchup. Palutena is one of those characters very strong. Has a lot of good. Uh, I don't want to say mid-range but right outside of boxing range options with that range and that intangible or invincibility on her moves but once your once your opponent gets in on you she struggles really hard to keep them off so i can see like a character like fox doing an amazing job of uh keeping up in this matchup oh tries to go for the falling up to get booty on a slip up here but missing that opportunity kind of stays a little bit in the neutral and i like the fact that he sees that forward tilt and immediately gold for the up smash He's, yeah. he's moving in for the kill, but that's kind of one of those things that you have to understand. Palutena still has great areas for tilts. Decent, but not as good. Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. That move is so good at walling out your opponent, but if you're not in the right range and Fox can just burst in, and you're kind of a sitting duck there on that forward tilt, like I said, it's just difficult to keep your opponents off uh, as Palutena sometimes. If, yeah, they're if they're fast enough, I should reiterate. Exactly, and then Fox kind of like a zone breaker, definitely for sure. He's able to burst in and burst out. Of Palutena Zone and a lot of zoning characters as well. Okay, gets that jab. Put him off stage. Tech Tech situation. Oh, and he gets the read! <laughs> that was so oh, gross! Oh man, that's the one where you gotta slap yourself and say, why did I go for that one? Yeah, what is what is that? That's the that's the mango where you dash dance in front of Hungry Box and then turn around <laughs> up smash. And you roll yeah, that's the classic. The people used to call it the, the tournament winner. Yeah. <laughs> the tournament winner. Oh, I think he tried to do fair foot still, trying to Flex on his opponent a little bit here, but yeah, three stock lead, why not? Okay, nice. Goes for the up tilt, tries to go for the neutral air, immediately understanding the arc that the up tilt sends you at that percent. Able to go for a follow up just like that. And the neutral air, though, from Budini, putting Master Mario off the stage, goes for the up B. I want to say he has to be ready for the tech of that situation because if, you, if you're if you picking up Mario, man, the, the Fox main creed here is always get your techs. Yeah. Still got a decent side lead. He's gonna get caught on that edge guard. Still, he's just looking in to try and get that dash attack. There we go. Put him off stage. 
Oh, oh great play. Damn it. Oof. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. As Fox, if you can keep up that shield pressure, it's so difficult for Paladin to try and get out of there. Yeah. But uh, he kind of dropped it there and he got the roll in. We'll have to see. He really likes using that falling there into down tilt or up tilt, it looks like. And he's <laughs> been doing a good job of mixing up when he decides to do it. But yeah, that down tilt doesn't quite look like it's working the way he wants to. Okay. Sees that Boudini is off the stage here looking for the get up roll. And he finds it there with the up smash Boudini. <sighs> kind of tough, man. You should have gone for a neutral get up. If you are get up rolling and your opponent's kind of seeking that out, yo, know, man, you gotta you gotta mix up how you get up. For I sure. mean, it's a, it's a psychological thing in general. It's just like, yeah. oh, I'm at a high percent. I don't want to be anywhere near off stage, so I'm gonna roll in. He'll never expect that. I'll be safe, and then get back. <laughs>